Greetings fellow girls, guys and gaming fans. This is Small Archangel. Welcome back to my corner of the Ark. This is our uh, house so far. I haven't done anything on it since the last episode. Uh, I have been mostly grinding. That is mostly what I do off camera in this game is grind for resources. Um, but uh, what I'm most concerned with this episode, and this is going to be... Well, <clears throat> it's going to be interesting. It's going to be... Um, I'm going to go and pick up that drop before we do anything else. But basically my plan is I want to undertake a raptor rescue. That is to say I want to go back to our base next near the coast on the west coast and see if we can bring Violet back here. Now this is kind of going to be an experiment because if I can do that I can maybe get some of my other dinos here as well. What do we got here? Blueprint Fabricator. Hello. And Simple Pistol. Now, I don't think I've learned either of those, so that is really good. Uh, that's really good news. That's great. Okay, so I want to go to that base. And uh, I, you see, the thing is, if I had a Quetzal, moving my dinos would be really, really easy. If I could tame a Quetzalcoatlus, uh, I would be able to just... Oh, now we've got place for our blueprints now, haven't we? We've got bookshelves. Um, I would be able to just sort of carry them or else place a, sort of a platform saddle on the back of a Quetzal and we'd be good to go. However, we don't have that ability. Uh, well, at least that is to say it's going to be extremely difficult for us to do that as single player. As solo players, that's really hard to do. So, um... I don't know if we can carry stuff using Oz. We can certainly carry things like the size of a Dilo with our Terra. I don't know about Argents. I assume they can carry as well. So there's potential for us to be able possibly to uh, to carry some of our smaller dinos with, uh, with our flyers. But I don't think I'm going to be able to solo tame a Quetzal. So we might be all out of luck on that front. So what we're going to have to do... Oops, there we go. We're going to have to go back to our other base, which is, yeah, it's around lat 60, long 60. It's, it's there-ish. No, long 20, 10, something like that, 15, something like that. Uh, we're going to have to go back there via our bed spawn point. So I'm going to arrive naked and with nothing, but that's okay because we could equip ourselves a bit while we're there. And then... Uh, leap on our raptor and see if we can ride it back here and as I say that's going to be the fun part that's going to be the interesting part because we haven't explored that south east corner of the map um, so, uh, so yeah that's going to be that's going to be really interesting and I'm not planning on sort of following the the river uh, through to Hidden Valley that would probably be the, the quickest way but that would be inland and that would be more dangerous I think so following the coast is probably going to be easier but longer, so it's probably going to take several in-game days to do this. So I've kind of had to screw up my courage a bit to do this. So, uh, but anyway, we should be about ready. Um, I've sort of set us up uh, because now this hatchway can be a bit of a pain. So you have to kind of make sure you're right above it <laughs> before you, uh, yeah, before you open it or you can't get through. We've got a couple of wooden boxes here in our so-called bedroom for the moment so what i'm going to do i'm going to use these to dump all of our stuff into and that we're not going to um well yeah obviously we drop everything when we travel this way so there we go now a compass you see i might have to make a compass the other side in order so you know we can sort of know where we are and things but uh and in this side it goes our armor there we go, and then we're carrying literally nothing, so there's nothing for us to drop. And then we will just go, now you see, with my map, yeah, obviously I won't have a compass, but I will always be able to refer to where I am on the map, so that will kind of help. But at the same time, I don't know, I would quite like to have a compass, so I might just have to make another compass when we get to our other base. So we'll see you guys at the other end. There we go. It's... Uh, lap 50 ish and long i don't know 15 like i said so uh here we go so here we are at the other end kind of naked and stuff but i do have a load of hide stuff here so 
We'll just put that on before we start. I've got my disgustingly coloured hide trousers. Uh, we've actually almost got a full set of both here, so uh, there we go. We don't have a hide, oh, we do have a hide he helmet, that's good. So my kiting one's kind of broken. We've got a metal pike, so I might just arm myself with that, and otherwise I might just arm myself with some, you know. I'm not sure I really need those, to be honest. Really, probably what we only need, we only need, uh, heck, do you know what? I'll make them if I need them en route. We've got that. Now, if I can make a, cus a compass, that would probably be a good idea. Um, so let's go on downstairs. Uh, I'm going to need to take some food with me as well, so let's just see about that. That should do us, but I'm not absolutely sure. Uh, oh, now, do I have a spare water bottle somewhere? I might have a spare water bottle in here if I do. Uh, we've got water skins, but they're really not much use to us. We might have to make one of those also. Okay, so we're going to make a couple of things while we're here. We're going to make ourselves a new compass because I want to be able to get home reliably. And we're going to make a water jar. Because all the water jars I have are currently at our new base. And then we're going to put this stuff away. So put my hide, flint and all the rest back in there. Oops, that's not what I meant. And my metal back in there and there ain't much of it left there. And then given... Yeah, we can do that. Uh, yeah, I'll fill up that water jar and then I've got some food with me. But it has come to my attention that... Yeah. No meat left. And probably medilos are in a similar condition. Yeah, they've got a little bit, but not a lot, to be honest. So what I'm going to do, off camera, because I don't want this episode to be a thousand years long... I am going to take my raptor and my dilos hunting and I will see you guys after we're done. Um, and then we will start our epic journey. <laughs> so I will see you guys in a little bit. Welcome back folks. It is the next day. I thought our little hunting trip would actually take quite a while. I've fed our dilos and our raptor though it is going to need, they're going to need feeding fairly consistently really because if you get all the food at the same time obviously the meat's all going to go off at the same rate so then they end up with absolutely none at all and that is basically essentially the problem so I'm going to have to keep on coming back to feed them which is why I'd quite like to take my Dilophosaurs um, over there with me as well but the idea of sort of kiting them behind me whilst riding the Raptor, they're just too slow, it's just, it would be a complete nightmare. And without a single doubt, uh, they would end up lost or dead or bugs, I don't know. So we're not going to do that. Okay, so overnight I've made sure that all my dinos, including my herbivores, are well fed. Um, the herbivores are fine, actually, especially if they're inactive. They just sit there and their berries hardly go off and they do really well, so they're fine. I've made various other things. I had to make a stone pick while we were hunting, of course, because I needed that to... Uh, harvest the meat though my dinos do a certain amount of that for themselves i like to be able to equitably share it and they don't do that the highest levels always tend to get the most um by themselves i've made some narcotics i've picked up a blueprint uh we've probably got some more blueprints i don't want to out you know sort of weigh down our dino obviously uh, i can't remember exactly what blueprints we have uh back where we let's see these are all Prim the ones that are, you know, they're primitive, the ones that are actually, uh, have that kind of, uh, well, we've got a metal door one, and I think, I'm not sure if I've got a metal wall one, so we might take that as well. Dino gate, most of these ones we've actually got one of those already, most of these we've actually already got, um, and compass we already know so there's not much point in taking that but i will take those metal blueprints there um although we're probably not going to use them for this base all right so we are pretty much ready to go but there is one more thing that i want to do before we leave that is 
make us a saddle now because we're traveling back on foot um we are going to be able to actually do this um because i have enough chitin at this base uh do, 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 do we have it all in here yes so we do there we go um so i think i'm just gonna have to grab some of this out of here because we're gonna need this in our inventory i don't think we can make this via the smithy i may be wrong uh let's just see let me just put in here saddle Argent saddle. It's been a, it's been long enough. We need hide and fibre also. So yeah, we probably can make it via here. Hide and fibre also. Come on, give me the fibre. And I think we probably need some of that as well. That's disappeared my entire inventory now. Oh, and more hide. Okay. Okay, we can now make an argent saddle, and it's about time, isn't it? All right, so I'll put back my spare kite in. It's a shame I haven't got... Well, we could take some kite in home with us, I suppose, to repair up my other armour. But as I say, I don't really want to weigh down my my uh, raptor. But I don't know. I don't know how she's doing for weight. We'll just... We'll have to check that before we go. Let's see. How are you for weight, my dear? Let's just see. She looks pretty cool, actually. But if we get on her, how is she then? She's still pretty cool, actually. That's all right, then. Okay, so we've got our kite in. We've got our kite in. This is as much kite in as I have here currently. Because uh, most of it's just got into Oz's saddle. Now, just before we leave, uh, we've got some colouring, some dyes here. Because, as per, I want to dye this saddle. So... Let's just see. We're going to dye this to match Oz. Uh, and he's mostly sort of... Mostly kind of a greyish white colour. And then he's got this brick red. Which is why I've got the brick red coloration here. Um, now... And I think that's pretty much done. So there we go. I'll just put this die back in here. There's no point in carrying anything we don't need. And now we're ready for the off. So this is going to, yeah, this is going to be interesting. But it's going to be a lot easier. And I will just close these gates. It's going to be a lot easier just with our raptor. Just with our raptor than it is with, you know, um, all our dilos and everything as well. That would just be a total and utter nightmare. So, if we have a look at our map, oops, and we've got our compass, voila, um, we're going to go, maybe we'll head, we're going to go round the coast for this to start out with. It's just going to be easier that way. So, uh, I guess we'll just head in this direction for the time being. Because we are going south, I believe. Oops. Yep, we're pretty much heading south at the moment. And we'll just keep going south down this bit of coast. And obviously there's going to be a lot of editing in this video. Because otherwise, yeah. Otherwise we'd be, you know, this video would be about three weeks long. Which would be just crazy. So uh, I'll see you guys in a little while. Well, so far so good, and uh, yeah, I'm actually sort of quite enjoying the ride, but we've got an interesting situation here where we have to cross the water, and there are sharks here, but I think if we cross here, it's sort of shallow enough and narrow enough that we shouldn't have problem, she says. Ah, oh, there's one! Crap! This is the last thing we need. A shark biting us on the bum. Actually, I don't think it can get to us because the water's too shallow, so we're cool. <laughs> so that's just as well. But this is kind of my plan, is to sort of, uh, yeah, stick to the coast. Uh, area of least risk, generally. And if we find danger, just run like hell. Uh, you can see this is where we are at the moment. So we're sort of still heading south and uh, just following the coastline round. And there's a few dilos around here. And I'm not really worried about those because, as I say... Dilos are much slower than my raptor. I find that intensely um, frustrating when I'm hunting. Never mind uh, at any other time. So, but at this point, it's actually working in our favour. Wow, this looks pretty epic. We're just approaching the red obelisk. And I've actually seen this from the air, but never from the ground. So that's pretty amazing, actually. We've got a couple of dilos over there. And I don't really want to tangle with them right now. So we'll just backpedal 
Though Violet looks really stupid going backwards. Um, we probably need... Ooh, we probably need to just follow the coast around here at this point uh, and just kind of go past all these dilos and there's quite a few of them. There's another one here so I think we're just going to have to outrun the beggars. <laughs> wow, look at this. And this actually leads right up to to the obelisk, doesn't it? So that's quite strange, but I need to be kind of over there really rather than here. So we'll see if we can go around. Look at the water decals, I like it. This is obviously some sort of alien thing here, isn't it? Which is what I've always thought about this game. So we'll just see if we can follow this path all the way around the obelisk. But this is quite cool. This is the first bit of, you know, it kind of feels like the first bit of sightseeing I've really done in the game. Okay, at this point we have turned east and there is a great big spino over there which we are going to avoid <laughs> like the plague uh, and I do recall I used to live somewhere vaguely near here and I did get myself chomped by a spino at one point so see that is so beautiful this game is so gorgeous so lovely uh, so yeah we're gonna just keep running at this point out of the way of the aggro of that spino Oh, except for when she's taking a dump, obviously. My, oh, there's a Sarko as well. We might just have to outrun that. Uh, we're a bit short on stamina, unfortunately. Come on. Come on, Violet. You can do it. Ah, he's still after me. Okay, but he's not very fast. Okay, this is not the safest bit of coastline ever, but we are headed in the right direction. We're probably going to have to face the odd water crossing here and there. Have we still got a Sarko on our tail? No, he's given up. That's good. Ah! Oh, crap. Holy crap. Yeah, I was just about to say we're entering the swamp region. Let's see, look at those toads. I'm not quite sure what just bit our ass, but I'm hoping we can leave it behind. Yeah, it's going to be kind of interesting around here as well. There's plenty of yeah of stuff that could aggro us there's massive snakes i'm pretty sure they're aggro um we just need to kind of keep on heading east so kind of this way uh but through swamps which is going to be interesting we've got sarcos here obviously we might find spinos and then yeah the snakes as well not i don't think and the dilos but i'm not too worried about those and then we've got those insects after us as well but i don't really care about those because they're not very fast either so i don't think there's anything really massively fast here there might be some big raptors but i don't think so in point of fact there's a toad so we're just gonna i'll just save her stamina while i can are we going the right direction yeah we are we're cool it's quite difficult to follow the water at this point because I'm not absolutely sure where it goes. You see, that Sarko's seen me now. He has seen me. Oh, and there's a snake. Oh, crap. Let's just keep moving. Okay, I think we're back, back on track. We are mostly going to avoid the swamps, hopefully. I'm just going around the outside of this little island here, uh, which probably has a name. I'm not absolutely sure what it is. Um... We're probably going to have to do, in fact, we're definitely going to have to do another water crossing at some point. Uh, but we're going to sort of follow the water for the minute, I think. Because we don't want to go over to our right there. So we're just going to have to follow this ridge here, I reckon. Raptors are very versatile and, and uh, when it comes to sort of mounts, I think they're probably, you know, one of the really good ones because <clears throat> they're quite quick and of course they're good jumpers, which makes them quite manoeuvrable. But Violet's level 22, she's really not very high level at all at this point and I seriously need to spend some more of her experience level up points in stamina because boy she just runs out of stamina at the most inopportune moments like right where we come across a couple of uh, raptors for example and i could probably do with putting a few more points into speed as well for her for the same reason because while i'm really enjoying kind of riding her across country like this actually yeah she's not that fast at all it's really going to take a while <laughs> 
Well, we're in the swamps again and I'm a tad nervous because uh, I'm pretty sure we need to go through here, like it or lump it. It's not deep water, but it could possibly hide a great big huge snake. And I haven't really gone very close to the snakes, so uh, I'm not sure how tasty they might find my dinosaur. Or indeed me. Up, oh, well, we seem to have got through there all right. We've got a couple of brontos. And one of them's all bloodied, so that does not, you know, fill me with confidence at this point. Keeping them moving, probably a good idea. And again, just we'll stick to where the water is. There's a sarco over there, not surprisingly. Perhaps going to be a little difficult to follow the water here. No, we should be alright. But night is going to be falling before too much longer and visibility is going to be, yeah, it's going to be interesting at that point. We're not going to be able to see a great deal, obviously. Uh-oh, big raptor, that's a T-Rex. I'm getting out of here. We definitely don't want to tangle with that. Uh-oh, there's a carno there as well. Well, I guess this is where we have to just run. Yep, he's run after a para. So we'll just take the opportunity to sprint in this direction. Still following the water. But it's kind of quite a long way down there at this point. And have we come to a cliff? We kind of have. I'm not sure if we can get up here. Quite possibly it's too steep. Oh no, we sort of can. Just hope we don't fall down. Deal without my raptor dying on me at this point. Oh look, Ankies! <laughs> well we're not too far from our goal now but I, whoa, I'm not too confident about getting through there uh, because of that spino so I think we're going to head this way and just stick to the high road as it were, which might mean going round the other side of here, but that's okay. Um, as long as we don't find any raptors. Whoops, because if we find any more raptors, that might be a bit on the interesting side. We're all right with a stego. But yeah, that's quite a narrow gully down there, and that being the case, uh, it's just a little bit on the risky side for me. And there's the water. We still basically need to follow the waterway through here. There is another Spinosaur there, but this has kind of opened out a bit now, so we might be all right. Let's just hop through here, and we'll just keep away from the carnivores as much as possible. There's another raptor over there. I can see it. I'm stay away from that Spino. And there's a Carno over that side as well, so I might just, again, rather than going through that very narrow gap over there, we might just head through the woods here, or just along the edge of the woods here. That looks like there's something... Oh, that's a uh, scorpion fighting a trike. Uh-oh, there it is. Just, just take out that power instead, scorpion. That's a good thing. We are not far from Hidden Valley now at all, and I'm just trying to avoid... Some more raptors, another spino. And we've got a supply drop of some sort there, but it's only green, so we're not going to worry about that. And we've got a few argents around here as well. At some point, we'll have to tame one as a mate for Oz. And by my calculations, we should be more or less on top of Hidden Valley now, so we just need to find the way in. And this is not something that I have really had to do from the outside. 
We have three ways in, and uh, there's one kind of in this direction a little bit, so... Oh! No! What's that? I don't have a clue what it is. I'm not really looking. I'm gonna run away. And I hope we lose it. Okay. We lost it, which is good. But that uh, didn't really help me to find my way into Hidden Valley. So close and yet so far. And I'm hoping we'll make it before nightfall. Can't, it's getting kind of dark. I can't really see where I am or where I'm going. This kind of looks like an entrance way, but I'm not sure. Could this be? Hidden Valley, yes it could. Well, it's about time. Welcome home, and boy, am I glad to see the place. There's a dilo there, so I think we might just finish by killing that. And that way we can repeat, we can... Uh, Replace the meat that our raptor lost en route. Here you go, Violet. Have some meat. And we'll drop that, shall we? There's another one right there. And it's between me and my base, actually. So I think we might just have to take that one out as well. Won't take as long. Or rather it won't take Violet long. There she goes. Welcome home Violet. This is where we live. Let me just make sure my flyers are still where we left them. Yes they are. Fabulous. You can park yourself over here in the vehicle pool. I'll just make sure I've got my torch because it's a bit on the dark side. Now it looks like Violet has finally leveled actually. Oh no, no, she hasn't quite, but she's pretty damn close actually. Still doing pretty good for food. Um, who is she? Yeah, disable following. That's a good idea. Don't just run off, dear. Uh, now and finally, we can actually saddle up Oz, which is great. Equip saddle. There's his saddle. Voila! How do you look with that saddle on, boy? Oh, perfect match, Oz. Don't you look handsome? Awesome! Three rideable dinos from three to one to three in. What an easy maneuver. Well, I wouldn't have called today's journey easy. Not exactly easy. In fact, it's taken a couple of in-game in days. We have opened up quite a bit of the map on the way, uh, the middle part of the map, so now the only bits of the map we have not opened up and have not visited are the northwest and the southeast. But hey, now we've got two flyers, we're uh, more likely to be able to do that and maybe we can ship some of our dilos over here using Oz and... Uh, and Carmen, I'm not sure. Um, but the other thing I really want to do is get my wolves here. And I'll probably do that, whether I do it on camera or off, I'm not sure. But I'll probably do that by following the uh, the, the winter, the, the sort of snowy biome coast around the north there. And the northwest. So that's probably how I'll do that. And I might do that off camera just because today has been quite hard enough anyway guys from hidden valley we're safely back here and we've got my raptor here as well uh, by the time i see in the next episode i might have got my wolfies here as well i will have to run them here in a pack so heaven only knows if i'll manage to do that without losing any of them because there's four of them and some of them are 
still quite low level actually so i don't know we'll uh, we'll see though because i quite like to have a, a pack of hunting dogs here as well and it's certainly a lot easier than schlepping back and forth from base to base then we've got the other side of our house to build and uh other bits as well i mean we've got lots of uh, blueprints to put away as well actually here so i think the last thing we'll do this episode we'll just put our blueprints in here we probably need to uh, put some more lighting around the joint as well this place is by no means finished here we go so we've got blueprint for a metal door and a metal wall and then we've got a load of chitin stuff so we can repair up our armor our chitin armor as well but we might be better off actually here in our leather armor because uh, yeah chitin's a bit hot for for this region so there you go guys thank you very much for joining us thank you very much for bearing with me on our perilous journey today and from me and all three of my current uh, dino buddies uh farewell until the next episode i do hope you'll join us i'll be doing a bit of flying oz as well so we've still got loads to do uh and so uh yeah until the next exciting episode of arc keep gaming Keep surviving and stay happy. Bye-bye for now.